In episode 4 I finally managed to remove the flywheel. Unfortunately it suffered irreparable damage and will have to be replaced, but I guess that's just an excuse to upgrade. So the next thing to remove was a clutch disc and assembly, which just slides off. Now I've no idea what condition this is in, but it does appear to be a bit rusty. The seat washer comes off next and I can see now why it's important to line the crankshaft as I did, so that the seat washer couldn't fall off during the flywheel removal and cause potential problems. Now I'm assuming that whilst these do look in good condition, I'm guessing that these must have to be replaced for new. I went to slide the primary gear from the crank but it wouldn't come off as I thought it should. I thought maybe removing this washer might somehow make a difference but that obviously wasn't the issue. I suspected it could be the slot where the sea washer sits but just in case it wasn't I opted to remove the transfer case first. So this bracket comes off then it's just a case of removing all the relevant bolts. The Haynes manual showed locking tabs but this had none fitted and one of the bolts was actually quite loose. Anyway with a bit of gentle persuasion with a rubber mallet the casing came off and with nothing to hold it back the rest of the oil came pouring out. So the primary gear still wasn't for budging, so I gave it a little deburring with this needle file which did the trick. Then it was just a case of removing the thrush washer that sits behind and peeling back the gasket. The idler gear just withdraws from the bearing that holds it in place. Next for removal was the oil pump. Now if it wasn't for Mr Haynes I'd have probably have tried to remove the screws, but it's actually only the two bolts that holds it in place. The fuel pump was simple enough to remove but the spacing bracket broke when I tried to chisel it off the engine. There's just one bolt holding the distributor racket on and that came off easily. The oil filter nuts needed a little bit of filing to get the socket on, but once that was done that came off again with no issues. Then there was a few ancillaries to remove, then the fan, then the water pump.
When the engine bracket comes off, I then use one of the bolts to remove this drive where the distributor goes. So a bit of a shout out again to Paul Jeffries for that little bit of advice. The engine was then turned upside down. The gearbox and the block are stuck together quite well, so even though it's still tricky, it's easier this way lifting the box from the block rather than the block from the box. It's just a little bit messier this way. There's quite a few little bolts holding the block and the box together, but it wasn't hard to remove them. Now it's a little bit tricky separating the two pieces, but a bit of leverage goes a long way, as does quite a lot of shaking, but eventually the two pieces separated. So that's the head, the block and the gearbox all separated and now ready for stripping down individually. Prior to making the videos on YouTube I worked as a firefighter for nearly 20 years serving my community and helping to save lives and promote the fire safety message. Unfortunately, an accumulation of many upsetting scenes became too much of my mind to cope with and after years of failed therapy I was retired from the service on the grounds of ill health and signed off medically from any employment. To keep myself busy, both body and mind, I developed an interest in woodworking and car mechanics and with already having a hobby in filming and music, I combined my interests and started making videos here on YouTube, filming, editing and composing my own music for my woodworking and car restoration channels Smugwood and Smugwood Mini. Unfortunately, to produce such videos comes at a price, and with minimal funds after being retired from employment, I've turned to Patreon to see if there is additional support out there which could allow me to continue making the woodworking and car restoration videos. In return for support there are various levels which are explained in more depth at the Patreon link below but includes the chance to win one of my YouTube projects made throughout the year and also inclusion into random prize draws open to patrons only. In addition I'd like to thank everybody who already subscribes to my channels or watches, comments, likes and shares them as it all goes to help support my channels and for that I'm really appreciative. It's my hope that I can continue making the videos for the foreseeable future. Thanks once again for your continued support. 